Homeless people can all too often feel invisible to the rest of society, and that was precisely how former military man John Lochlin felt in 2016. During his time living on the streets of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the vet had grown so dispirited and downhearted through his pain and isolation that he had practically given up on life. However, a seemingly unremarkable encounter with what would turn out to be a quite remarkable young woman would persuade Lochlin that his story wasn't over. Growing up, 33-year-old Lolly Galvin cannot recall seeing a homeless person in her small New Jersey hometown near Atlantic City. As a result, it was only when she got her driver's license and traveled further afield that the young woman first came across someone living on the streets, and it was her human instinct to reach out to them and learn their story. Galvin joked about that fateful encounter in April 2016 when interviewed by Danielle Alpons, creator of the Altruistic Bee, You and Thrive Initiative. Galvin recalled, I gave them my family's house phone number and said, call us if you need anything. I came home and shared this with my parents, and they were basically going to shoot me. Fast forward a few years, and Galvin was now dedicating her life to helping the homeless. It all began when the selfless woman set up a GoFundMe crowdsourcing page in early 2016 to raise $500 towards 10 acts of random kindness. After collecting the donations, her first good deed was to treat a homeless man to lunch. And after sharing his story on social media, Galvin found herself inundated with online support. In February 2016, when local news channel CBS Philly picked up on Galvin's generosity, she realized that helping the homeless was her calling in life. As a result, she founded the Dignity Project, a nonprofit organization based in Philadelphia, which provides people on the streets of that city with everyday essentials. Subsequently, Galvin now spends her days giving out dignity bags of basic items to the homeless community of her adopted city. The giveaway packs contain practical essentials from socks and gloves to various toiletries. In addition, Galvin's charity also distributes sleeping bags and provides people on the streets with haircuts. The only thing that Galvin asks in return for these altruistic acts is that the recipients share their individual stories so she can post about them online. That way, Galvin can shine a light on the issue of homelessness while also promoting the good work of the Dignity Project. Consequently, Galvin has touched the lives of many needy people since her not-for-profit got up and running. However, in early 2016, she met a disabled man who presented her with a pretty big challenge. Homeless and sick, his situation seemed so hopeless that he had almost given up on life completely. The man in question was John Lochlan, a 57-year-old military veteran who had fallen on. Desperately hard times, during his time on the streets, the former serviceman had been sidelined by mainstream society, shot at, and even run over by a car. As a result, the vet was not in a good way at all. The traffic accident had left Lochlin with a damaged spine, for which he was unable to seek treatment. To make matters worse, he had already been suffering from a leg infection which had left him unable to walk. As a result, Lochlin relied on a wheelchair, but was still in an immense amount of pain. The luckless Lochlin described his miserable daily routine to Philadelphia station Fox 29 in January 2017. He revealed, basically I would get up every morning. Well, I wouldn't get up. I would just wake up in my wheelchair, wheel to the corner, and panhandle. That was my days. That was all I did. Needless to say, Lochlin had grown pretty despondent with the poor hand that life had dealt him. So when Galvin approached the homeless vet to offer him a haircut, Lochlin initially declined. I said, no, I'm good, because I didn't really want to deal with them. He admitted to Fox 29. Nevertheless, something deep inside Lochlin must have told him that he could trust Galvin. Two weeks later, my hair was getting out of hand, he explained. So Lochlin decided to take a chance and get a much needed tidying trim courtesy of the Dignity Project. Little did Lochlin know, but letting his guard down on this one occasion would lead to a life-changing relationship. Because once she had organized the cutting of his hair, Galvin continued to check in on the veteran, whether he liked it or not. Recalling the difficult beginnings of her burgeoning friendship with Lochlin to Fox 29, Galvin said, I would come and see him and be like, how's the haircut going? And he would be like, good thanks. Interjecting, Lochlin explained his reticence by saying, gave up on people, I really did. However, Galvin refused to give up on Lochlin, especially when she noticed how the veteran seemed to be seriously deteriorating due to his injuries and infection. I have never seen someone on the streets in the condition he was in, she recalled. He was not doing well, 
and I knew he wasn't doing well. As a result, Galvin knew she had to intervene to help Lachlan before it was too late. So she first arranged treatment for the vet's infection and then organized major surgeries to fix his back. It was kind of like, he's not going to make it if someone doesn't help him, she explained. And with Galvin by his side, Lachlan now found that he had the strength to, literally, get back on his feet. Somebody cared about me, somebody talked to me and really cared, he acknowledged. As a consequence, the vet threw himself into rehabilitation following his surgery in order to learn to walk again. While his road to recovery was a tough route, by January 2017, Lachlan was starting to walk again without pain for the first time in years, and while having his mobility back was an incredible advance for the former military man, he found that it was the healing of his heart which had the biggest effect. So after rediscovering his lust for life thanks to the Dignity Project and Galvin, Lachlan had something to say to others who may be struggling to stand on their own two feet. He told Fox 29, My message is, don't ever give up on people because there's good people out there.